Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. This was a uh, big update we got from the Galactic Federation yesterday. This is a Patreon exclusive talking about timelines being shattered. I do think we're in uh, all new territory, and we want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say huge thank yous to Listen Good, Michelle, Daria, and Emily. You guys help keep us afloat. You help keep us going, and we are extremely grateful. Absolutely. We couldn't do it without you guys. Again, exclusives over on Patreon every week. And here we see the Danish Navy hunts down Chinese ship suspected of sabotaging Baltic Sea cables. Uh, in case you didn't know, there were two different incidents that were incidents in which cables, communication lines, got cut. And now on Monday, the Yiping 3, a Chinese-registered bulk carrier, was suspected of damaging two fiber optic data cables beneath the Baltic Sea, which connect Finland, Germany, Sweden, and Lithuania. The bulk carrier is anchored in Kattegat Bay alongside a Danish naval vessel. Kattegat Bay is uh, very famous if you guys have ever watched the Vikings series. Uh, the ship tracking website, Marine Traffic, shows the Danish vessel alongside it. So they, they basically were stopped by a Danish Navy. They were boarded. When we look at uh, <laughs> how they were going about their business, they ended up looping and circling in uh, the location where the cables were cut. So very, very suspicious. And... The vessel sailed from Russia. The captain is Russian. The vessel is Chinese. Uh, so obviously when you are in a wartime scenario, uh, cutting communications, that's just one of the things that gets done. Now, Denmark exercised the right under Article uh, 10 of the Submarine Cables Convention to board the ship. That had only been done once before by the U.S. in 1959. So, you know, is this uh, being caught red-handed? What do you think? I look forward to uh, your comments and takes on this. I do think, again, as we've been sharing, um, perhaps, perhaps the most tenuous time that we have to navigate through here on Earth is really these two months obviously between something happens in January and we have a, a change uh, and then also I would extend that out to the summer solstice just from the information uh, that we've gotten from from our guides and sources so you know this is just something that does happen sabotage terrorism Again, uh, it's it's something that is not unexpected, but does show the, the tense times that we're in. And here you have Biden approves anti-personnel mines for Ukraine, undoing his own his his undoing his own policy. Well, you know, what happened? Is it just the fact that it's the last couple of months? It really, this is why there are calls out there to impeach uh, and remove Biden-Harris regime from office ahead of schedule. There are calls out there, you know, again, going back to that Pluto return to uh, 22, 2022 and 2, obviously, is uh, duality, which gives us everything in this chaotic realm that we find ourselves in. And uh, the Pluto return is also all about redoing things as Pluto is moving into Aquarius. Uh, it's a revolutionary energy. And also we are leaving that Kali Yuga. So we have a great awakening going on. These times are going to be very turbulent. And so um, we're hoping this video goes through fine because we've had issues uh, with our recording software, which seems to have magically been restored without really any changes. Uh, so you'll see shorter videos coming from us, and uh, we might be having to go to backup computers here. But it's okay. We have quite a few backup computers, so we'll just keep jumping from one to another. So 
what you have going on here is an obvious escalation that looks pretty obvious. It's, it's again, things that everybody's catching up on. Uh, the fact that there's, there's forces at work that seem to want to do something that is completely insane. Start WW3. And, you know, here you go. Everything that could possibly trigger it is being done at this point in time. And the one thing that it's doing is it's really, really showing um, everything. It, it's shining light on the darkness because it's pretty obvious. It's getting to be pretty obvious for more and more people that, you know, there are certainly not peacemakers in the highest places. Now, Putin has warned that Moscow will retaliate for the latest uh, missile strikes from the Army Tactical Miss Missile Systems, or the Atticums, which has a range of about 190 miles. There are sources saying uh, that the target may be Kiev. Uh, it's possible, too, that the target may be something uh, other than Ukraine, because this has been stated uh, that if the if, if they did this um, and they, you know, that bigger, um, the bigger they, NATO, uh, again, the EU, the US, uh, Ukraine, you know, it's just fascinating to see that everybody that we, we look at in positions of great power seem to have had acting careers. <laughs> you know, it started with Ronald Reagan. And it hasn't stopped, but, you know, again, here we go. So, you know, just be as as alert as you can be, rooted and grounded as you can be, because that's the bigger picture here. It's spiritual growth, and we are going to be leaving a system that has been locking us down mentally in a construct of nonstop fear. I do think that, again, by the time we get to 2030, um, yeah, it's going to be a totally new paradigm and perhaps even 2028, 2027 even. I think our most challenging time is right ahead of us right now. So navigate these waters, put out your positive intentions. There are a lot of positive signs out there. And again, I think the people of the world are getting to the boiling point of being fed up with the leadership of the world. And that's a good thing because the leadership of the world uh, is either totally incompetent or something worse. Trust, trust. Well, we have no trust at all in the leadership uh, of this world anymore, but we can trust in, in each other. Uh, you know, that's, that's something we can build trust with each other. Again, the average person in China or the average person in Russia, or India, the United States, the UK, none of us want this chaos, you know, death and destruction and war. We just want peace. And we will have it. It's just a matter of time. I agree. Source bless and namaste.